Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Crane with the Heart, and I'm back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. So I have been working with the um, papers that I got from Tuesday morning. They're the Stargazer by Dear Lizzie, and I cannot even find where I have the paper pad because I'm still working on a project. So this is an album that I made. So this is the first project that I've made with it. And so that paper pad is 36 sheets. It's single-sided, um, 36 sheets, which 12 by 12, which is, it's going to be hard to kill. But once I get into it, I, I can't stop. So I'm going to work, work hard at getting that done. So my second project is a tag mini album. So at first I was bummed because all I thought I had was these humongous binder rings, but I located my one inch ones. So all was saved um, and I just went ahead and used some pieces from the collection as well as some pre-made tags that I had. And I also dug through my box of ephemera. So various little bits and pieces of collections are in there. So, um, I think I used my mind's eye on trend seemed to go uh, pretty well with this. And I have no idea where that lemon came from. So here's the front page and I used chipboard piece that came with, um, the Dear Lizzie chipboard sheet that I found also at Tuesday morning. And then this is an on-trend MME um, piece. Okay, and so it just flips over. So then this back side, I just made um, a little tag. Let's see here. I made a little tag. And then this piece is also from the um, Stargazer collection and just pop dotted the bottom of it. So it's kind of sticking up a little bit so I can put my tag in there. And then I've got um, this piece using the lemon paper. And then all I did here was I cut the lemon from the paper collection and I'm looking for my yellow stickles because I think I might stickle that, um, that lemon right there. But I don't know where my yellow is. It's hidden somewhere. So I'm going to go find that. And then I'll go ahead and I will um, stickle that piece. This is from the collection. And then this is a pre-made tag. And so all I did with this tag is I just used my We Are Memory Keepers hole reinforcer. So this is, has found its place on my desk because I'm using it pretty frequently. I actually like this thing a lot. So that's up there as well as my Stampin' Up! Scallop Punch. I use those frequently. So it's graduated. So the back side of it is this piece right here. And before I forget, um, let me tell you what I'm using for my tag shape. I'm using this right here, which is a Spellbinders Nest Abilities. I've had this forever. I actually got it because I had done a, um, a card kit with Kathy over at Paper Phenomenon, and this was part of the kit. And so when I took the kit apart to sell the kit in my D stash, I kept the nest abilities. And so I just recently got them. These are labels 38 and this is four inches. So it's pretty good size. It's four inches by uh, five and three quarter inches, almost six inches. So it's, it's pretty good size. So I've got this one right here, and this is just to cut apart. Um, and then I made a little booklet. So you can put little pictures or journaling in here. And then just did a little um, enamel dots. This side, I just did a shaker um, pocket right here. It's not really a pocket, just a shaker on this side. And then um, over here, it's just one of the cut aparts. Um, with a flower. I had this one last flower in a pack, Prima flower. And so it's sort of exciting to be able, oops, wrong way, to be able to use that up. And then this side is um, your peach with a cute little camper. So this was like a card. I just kind of fussy cut around the camper. And there is space right here for a very small photo. So you have a picture of a person's face or a picture from far away. You could cut that down and put that here if you wanted. So there is space for a picture if I wanted to do that. And then this side over here, I did the same thing I did with the Euro Peach. I just took one of the cards, put some enamel dots on it, and they made a little booklet for, for pictures. What's wrong way? Almost done. So now I've got... 
this side right here. And so this is left open so I could place my picture right in there. And then I just use some of this trim. I don't do tons of layering. Um, I just, that just isn't my style. I'm a little more clean and simple. So you'll notice that they aren't like bulked up kind of um, pages. I just, I don't know. I try to do them and they just don't work for me. Just not my style. So I did make a pocket here and then I used a cut apart says wild and free. And then I made this little tag. So you can put pictures or do journaling right there. And then here is the last one. So I just did um, some ephemera. I want to say this is Echo Park, the fall, one of the fall ones. And all I did was pop dot it up here. And then there's pictures, place for picture. It's a scrap right here. You can see an, like a good size picture could fit right there. Okay. And then the back side. I made a pocket out of um, one of the cut aparts, and then this is one of those pre-made tags, and I just put a little um, piece of scrap here, and then I used my whole reinforcer, which just really gives the tag a finished look, and then tied some ribbon. And this tag is really thick. It's like a cardboard. It's a Prima Julie Nutting tag. It's really small. I have no idea why she came out with such a tiny little tag, because her dolls are so humongous. Maybe if you're just going to do like a face or something, I don't know. I don't get it. It's two by three and a half, but I, I really do like the feel of them. They're like a cardboard. So um, it fits in there nice and snug so it's not going to pop out. And then I just tied some ribbon on the top. And I, all I've got to do, I think, is find my yellow stickles and put them on the lemon. And the sucker is ready to go. So that is project number two with my Dear Lizzie Stargazer paper pad. Thank you for watching. This is Cindy with Crane at the Heart.